Pisces, my what is up, Pisces, what is up and what is good with y'all, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back for all my returning subscribers, you guys, I'm going to be getting into your next 48 hour collective love reading, okay, for the month of November, I'm not going to put a date because this reading is timeless, so whenever you're drawn to this message is when you're meant to see it. Keep in mind that all these messages may or may not resonate with you. It's not for a specific person. So if you would want a private personal reading, if you're interested in that, my link is in the description. You guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Please like the video up. Thank you very much. It helps me out and it helps the channel out. So let's see what's going on in the next 48 hours, okay? This could be a prediction. This may have happened already. Take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest for another Pisces. So the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, Spirit wants you to pay attention to your dreams. There's a lot of daydreaming, fantasies, and wishful thinking going on here. Okay. Um, there could be some confusion here as well with the Seven of Cups. You may be confused or somebody else is confused. Okay. Hmm. Some of you have your options open. That's what I get. Okay. For some of you. Okay. So three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's some heartbreak, some pain. Okay. Someone may be bitter. I feel like um, there's a separation between you and someone that you're dealing with. Someone you're connected to. Okay. I see confusion and conflict. Yes, yeah, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Because someone was lying, being dishonest, Aquarius energy, not telling the truth. Being very sneaky, trickery. You know, this is either you or this person who did this to you. But I feel like, yeah, there's some confusion and some heartbreak over someone who wasn't being honest and cheating and lying on you or lying to you. Okay, um, Eight of Swords, more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So, you may be feeling stuck, trapped, or blocked, or this person is all up in their head. They can't stop thinking about what happened, or this is you. Okay. You may be connected to someone who is in jail or this is you. Alright. I feel like this person is all up in your head though. Because the sun, uh, Leo energy, something was exposed here. And it could have been this person's lying, sneaky behavior, trickery. You know, they just, they thought they could outsmart you. Or this is you that did this to this person. And I feel like it's been exposed. The truth. The truth has come out. The lies, the secrets, everything has come out. Or it's going to. Okay. And I feel like you're ready for something new with the Fool card, Aquarius energy. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The truth came out. Right? This person was being very foolish. There was a lack of commitment. The truth came out. You either found out something, somebody told you something, or you heard something. And I feel like it may have started some arguments, fights, conflict, or someone may be conflicted within because the truth came out. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this is a burden. Ten of Wands. Okay. Six of Cups in reverse. You're letting go of the past and focusing on the future. Okay. I feel like somebody is stuck in the past. Stuck on the past memories here. Scorpio energy. Yeah, because this person is in love with you. Gemini energy with the lovers. Okay. Let's see. This person may be in a public eye or a public figure. Six of Wands. They may be a celebrity. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. You want something stable and long term coming into you. I feel like that's coming in. Okay. And I do see you moving away from, uh, you know, rough waters into a place of peace and calmer waters with the Six of Swords here. More Aquarius energy. 
You're moving forward. Things are calming down. Okay. Yeah, and you're healing. Temperance energy. This person may have moved away from you or you moved away from them, but they want to reconcile with you with the temperance. All right. Um, some of you may be returning home or someone is returning home or there's a reunion here between you two. There's a possible reunion. Hmm. All right. Let's get into some more messages for you guys. So you have um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, a lot of air, and Cancer, fellow Pisces like yourself, or Scorpio. <clears throat> Alright, so let's check the rest of this readout. Get some additional messages for you guys. Also, children wanted to show up. So you may have children with this person or there's children involved. It says, using child as a pawn, staying for the kids. Somebody might be staying for the kids or there's children involved here. So you may have children with this person or it's outside of the connection like it may have been from a past connection. Yeah, it says bad intentions. Okay, so somebody you're connected to has bad intentions. I feel like they're going to use this child as a pawn. To, to get you back or whatever the case may be. There is some red flags when it comes to this person. There's some lies. There's some secrets. Okay. Or this is you who's who's done this to this person. Hmm. This person, they know you're a catch. and They know you're very beautiful. Okay. They're hypnotized by your beauty and intimidated by it. And they're in regret, okay, or this is you that's in regret, feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo this damage. Give me some more messages for Pisces. I'll pick that up in a second, you guys. Give me some more messages for Pisces. Yeah. See, there's a third-party situation. So something is interfering in you guys' connection. Now, it could be a romantic partner, or it could be... Um, Someone working a lot, like a workaholic, okay? But there is some competition here, especially with that five of wands showing up. There is some competition, and there's an enemy here. Yeah, because somebody's a love bomber, okay? It says emotional manipulation, casting over ladies, man. Someone wants the attention of a third party, okay? Or they want your attention, or this is you. And you know what just fell on the ground, you guys? <clears throat> it says main lady. They have chosen. No interference. Focus on one person. So I do see there is somebody else involved here. Okay. Now, you may be a third party or someone you're connected to is a third party. There's a third party involved. There's some sort of third party here. And I feel like somebody is emotionally manipulating you. Okay, or you're doing this to them. Because there is a main lady here. I don't know. Hmm. Let me get some more messages for Pisces. So I can put the pieces together for you guys. So, some of you may be connected to someone who is married. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Okay, not everybody. Some of you. Yeah, see, hmm. It says fights, arguments, creating drama. It says moments of tension. So I feel like there may be some fights and arguments with this other person. Or this is you. There may be like some drama on both sides. That's what I'm getting here for some of you. Okay. Because I feel like every time you try to talk to somebody, there's arguments or tension or they create drama. And then it says options. So I do feel like some of you have your options open. It says difficult decision, exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong. So I feel like for some of you, you have options. You may be 
um, weighing up the pros and the cons, you know, choosing if you should stay or if you should go. You don't want to choose wrong. This is a very difficult decision, especially if there's two people here. Um, or there's someone that was exploring other possibilities. Okay, maybe the person that you're focused on, the main lady, maybe there's some arguments between you two and some drama. Because maybe they have their options open. Yeah, somebody is very angry. This could be you or the person you're connected to or a third party. Somebody's angry in here. Okay, they kind of resent you. Yeah, and they're closed off to you. Closed off and blocked off, or this is you. But I feel like they have feelings for you. I feel like y'all do have feelings for each other. That's the crazy part. It's just that somebody's lies and and and, de and deception got in the way of a beautiful union. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody is. Doing the healing work after all of this, you know, finding hope again, you know, a bright future in, in, in healing their broken heart, you know, reevaluating needs of self care, self love. You're moving forward here. Okay, your money may be tight, you may be having money issues or not enough money here. Okay, but don't worry, spirit got your back. Okay, you was dealing with somebody who was two faced. It. You know what I'm saying? It was hiding their feelings and shit like that. It was just not good. You know, this person's walking on thin ice. It says against time. So they're, they're, they're going to try to rush in before it's too late. I don't know who they're going to try to rush in towards. Because somebody's ass going to be feeling rejected and left out in the cold here. Okay. You may be dealing with a twin flame, but it's toxic. I feel like you're going to take a risk or someone wants to take a risk towards you. Let's see. You may be feeling like this person is, is, is got you going in circles, repeating cycles, not making any progress, not learning any lessons. You know, breaking promises to you, misleading you, breaking the trust. And I feel like now they want to bring you a love offer or a romantic gift. I also see that coming in from a new love. There's new love here as well for a lot of you. You're letting go of an ex. You know, there's someone better and there's a new love interest out there. But I feel like this ex is coming back to apologize or this third party. Or that's you. Okay, that's you. You may be realizing that somebody is the source of your happiness, whoever this is. All right, or this person realizes this about, realizes this about you. Let's get some uh, additional messages, you guys. If you guys cannot hear me, please turn the volume up. Please and thank you. Okay, yeah. So see, this person wants a serious relationship with you. Okay, you may be married or already in a, a connection with someone here. If you're not married, I see you're in a connection already for some of you. Or you're connected to someone who is. Yeah, I said that already. <laughs> I feel like you see this person as a true gem. They see you this way. They see your value and your worth. Or you see this about them. Yeah, this is a past love. This person likes to work with crystals, jewelry, or gemstones, so that's you. You may have done this in a past life too, worked with a lot of jewelry, gemstones. But I feel like this person wants to add some sort of quality to your life. Okay. They have a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of passion and chemistry here between the two of you. This is somebody that you're dating or somebody that wants to date you. This is a romantic partner, but I feel like somebody's talking to a lot of different people in here and they need to choose or choose between two. How is this all going to play out for Pisces? There's blocks, there's burdens, there's obstacles here. Hmm. Because there's new love here. 
And there's a past love here. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. So you and this person may be um, the same age or y'all both um, young. Okay. Yeah. Or you may be connecting to a brunette female or you are. Okay, I feel like whoever you want to hear from is going to reach out to you or you're reaching out to somebody and they want to hear from you. Yeah, I feel like you guys spiritually are growing. Okay, I do feel like that. You're learning from um, past failed connections here or someone is. Okay, they're expanding the soul here. All right. Oh, that's you. Take it how it resonate. Let's get some more messages for you guys. Pisces, Pisces. I hope you guys are enjoying your reading so far. I love you guys so much. You guys be turning up on your motherfucking lights. I swear. Y'all be turning up. Y'all show me a lot of love and a lot of support. And I want to thank y'all so much. Alright, y'all. Let's continue. So I feel like somebody's trying to copy you. Or this is a third party trying to copy the other person. Somebody's trying to copy somebody's work, ideas, how they talk, dress. They want to be like you. So this could be the person whom you're connected to, third party or whoever. I don't know. Okay. But I feel like, yes, yeah, someone ghosted you or you ghosted them. It says ignoring you, not calling or texting back. Someone's trying to avoid confrontation with you. This may be an air sign who's involved, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. So you may have ghosted an air sign or you have air highly aspected in your chart. Okay. Someone is fake flexing, putting on a show, pretending they have money and material wealth. Okay. Yeah, this person blocked you or you blocked them or they're not telling you much. Okay, yeah, the stars. So you may be a public figure or in the public eye or this person is. Be careful for gold digging energy. Okay, there's someone around you that only likes you um, or only likes people for primary interest and material benefits. So they like people that have a lot of money and shit. You may know who that person is. Um, big man just fell. I don't feel like reaching for it, you guys, and picking it up. It says, very triggered, mad as fuck, angry about a situation or someone. Yeah, this situation make you or somebody angry. Or you mad because you know there's a gold digger that's leeching off of you. Yeah, it says burning money. This bitch be burning through cash. You may be a divine masculine who I'm connecting with right now. Okay? Somebody just goes through, like... Burns through like your credit card, your bank account, or the cash you give them. Like, and y'all be fighting a lot about this. Alright. Or you may give them money and they spend it on other shit. Like, you give them money for shit that's important. You know what I'm saying? And they may spend it on something else and y'all get into a fight or argument. It says rich at the bottom of the deck. Or some of you are going to be. Hmm. <laughs> There's an earth sign that's involved. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, what else do you have for Pisces? You may have earth. Uh, I mean earth. <laughs> you may have. Um, yeah, you may have earth highly aspected in your chart. Maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth placements, <laughs> or um, that could be uh, an earth sign. Yeah, someone who's high key. It says always drawing attention, very obvious. Yeah, this person wants a lot of attention from different people. They just, this may be a divine masculine, or you are a divine masculine. Someone is a chaos agent. All right. They think it's cool, they think it's cute, they think it's funny to start chaos and mischief. Yeah, someone's a cheater. They're unfair. They sleep around when they have a partner. They're unfaithful. They're non-committal. But they have a lot of lust. <laughs> what a, 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 a whoop-de-doo. <laughs> 
Yeah, and they having money issues because of a gold digger spending all of their money. Somebody is spending all of the money. Not paying the bills. It's, I feel like there's unpaid bills in here for someone. It's, this is very specific. I'm channeling this energy. Alright, somebody's like, lights is off and shit. If that's not you, that's somebody else. Okay, but that message is very specific. Be careful for that person because I feel like they're going to spin you broke. I feel like they're going to burn all the money out of your pockets to the point where money going to be stagnant for you. Okay, so that's very specific. Not everybody is going to do that. Okay, but somebody here is definitely having money issues and they're penny pinching because money has been stagnant for them. Okay, so that could be somebody you connected to and maybe they're not telling you that they're having money issues. So take it how it resonates. Okay. Let me get one more. How's this all going to play out for Pisces? So it says religious. Okay, so there is a spiritual connection here between the two of you. Okay, there's a Divine Feminine involved here. How will this all play out? How will this all play out? For Pisces. Yeah, this person is a twin flame, a soulmate. I also feel like some of you are dealing with a karmic. Yeah, someone is disappointed. Because of a trickster who caused sorrow. Hmm. That could be you. Your person disappointed you. Alright, but you guys, they want to come back to apologize. So it is up to you. It is your free will to hear this person out or to shut the door on them and keep it moving. Because I do see something coming up for you. It could be like a surprise. Okay, it could be from this person or, you know, um, it could be like a party, like a wedding that you may be going to or some sort of event. It may be um, a baby shower, a reunion, this may be around the holidays. Okay, maybe families coming together around the holidays. All right. Um, yeah, I see some sort of celebration happening here with the Four of Wands. You guys, some of you may be painting. Some of you may be getting a new home. If you're looking for a home right now, you're very close to finding it. That's what I'm seeing here with the Four of Wands. Some of y'all, this person wants to reconcile with you because they don't want to be alone. Okay? I think they have a fear of being alone for some of you. Or that's very specific for someone. Take it how it resonates. Okay. There's many different messages when it comes to the four of wands. And all tarot readers read differently. So take the messages how it resonates with you. And leave the rest for another Pisces. Okay. You guys. That is your reading. That is all I have for you guys for today. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I enjoyed reading it for you. If you want more readings like this from me, make sure that you guys please, please, please like this video up. I know I don't have to ask y'all because y'all always show me a lot of love on y'all readings and I do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Turn your post notifications on ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. I also have a bonus reading for you guys because you guys have the most views. So congratulations. You guys reading bonus reading is up next. I love you guys so so much. Stick around until next time. Bye Pisces. I'll see y'all in the next reading.